Hi Aries, let's talk about uh, Saturn in Pisces and what you can expect. So Saturn in Pisces is going to enter your 12th house. So 12th house is a very interesting house, it's the last house. <laughs> and um, it's connected with uh, the, sub the subconscious, uh, dreams and nightmares, the inner workings, inner demons um illusions uh but also a lot of imagination uh and and toxicity even addiction even so here saturn in pisces uh is going to ask you in your 12th house is probably going to be a more isolating time for you because Saturn will ask you Saturn is basically going and asking you to grow up but to grow up about your specific areas that are connected with the third house so Saturn is asking you to grow up in regards to your psychology about your inner demons facing your Facing your uh, inner demons, your inner fear, insecurities, uh, working with your own psychology is going to be huge for the, la the next two, three years with this Saturn in Pisces in the 12th house for you. Because it will ask you to basically to clean your subconscious, to clean, your, to clean everything that is connected with your mind. Uh, so, because after Saturn in Pisces leaves, it will enter Saturn in Aries and it will be in your first house uh, after three years. So at that point, Saturn is going to ask of you to grow up and become uh, the full mature adult that you are and you want to be. But be before you do that, uh, before it ends, enters your uh, first house that is connected with image, uh, the way you're working, the, the way uh, everything connected to yourself, it needs to clean uh, behind the curtain, behind the stage. It, it needs to clean uh, the behind the stage area. Uh, it needs to make you organize yourself. To, it needs to uh, let for you to let go of toxicity. Uh, and you need uh, to work really hard uh, f to get rid of all of the toxicity, all of the negative thinking, the lack mentality, the comparing yourself to others, all of the, all of the negative things that you're doing. It, you need to sit with yourself to do that. You cannot distract yourself with other people or with work or with, with, with parties or with a project or like home renovation or stuff like that. No, Saturn will ask of you, I need you to be alone. I need you to, to, to stay alone so that you can sit with yourself and you can self-observe. Self you can self-observe, you can um, really understand that you it's your own life and but but what's most important maybe for Aries to understand is that also they are responsible for how they react to things they are responsible for their own thinking for their own inner workings their own psychology this may be an amazing time for Aries to go to therapy or to go in some ways even it, it may be a self, self help book or something like that. It will be a, a, an amazing time for, for Aries to uh, step back a little bit and observe themselves, observe their, their lives, their relationships, their work, and, and really observe and actually have wisdom taken from it, actually have lessons taken from their own life. And their own mistakes, and not only mistakes, but their own uh, winnings also. Uh, so Saturn in Pisces will ask Aries to uh, get rid of a lot of toxic habits or bad habits they have. Will ask of them to make almost like a make a list of positives and negatives, and get rid of the negatives. <laughs> 
and get rid of that because Saturn asks of Aries to become the in the in the next few years it will ask Aries to become the best version of, of themselves to grow up to mature to 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 really become the best but because of before before that uh, Aries have to work really hard on their own psychology and their own psyche uh, they have to work really hard on these things uh, they cannot this is this is <laughs> if 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 Aries can think that they can get get away with this, uh, get get away with a certain bad habit, a certain uh, bad cycle that they're in, Saturn in Pisces in their third house will come. In, they will not. It Saturn um, Aries cannot cannot go away with things that they have brought on themselves and not take responsibility. And yes. I forgot to say that. This is this is huge with Saturn in the 12th house. Taking responsibility of your own mind, of your own subconscious, of your own psych psyche, of your own um, way of thinking. Because Saturn in, in the 12th house will show Aries that you have to change your mindset. You have to change your mentality before you change any, anything else in the, in the physical world in the physical realm nothing can change for Aries be before they change their own their own ways and this may be um, a time that Aries may feel more depressed lonely isolated um, they will feel like what they're going through nobody understands they cannot talk to their friends or family uh, and it doesn't matter if they have a lot of support, support, supporting people around them. They will feel like this is something that they have to do on their own. And they're right. <laughs> I'm not trying to scare Aries off, I'm sorry. It's just a very serious time for them. Uh, but in order to do all of this hard work, they have to be able to do this on their own. And they have to understand that hard work will actually taste really sweet because there are a lot of rewards after Saturn leaves a, a certain house or a certain uh, sign. So a lot of um, a lot of lessons will be learned here. It will be an amazing time for Aries to change their mindset and to get rid of a, 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 get rid of a lot of non-healthy things, non-healthy way of thinking, and actually become the worthy person that they they are. Uh, let's talk about Taurus next. Hi Taurus, let's talk about what you can expect uh, in the next two, three years with this Saturn in Pisces. Uh, Saturn in Pisces enters your 11th house. 11th house is connected with networks, networkings, uh, friendships, friends, social groups, ideas, uh, and Saturn is basically asking you to grow up. Saturn is asking of you to take responsibility uh, and take responsibility up, uh, about your friendships and uh, networking. Uh, it will ask of you to put boundaries, to put some limits between you, you and your friends. Uh, it will ask of you to get very serious and very structured around your ideas and become very disciplined uh, and, and really take this into action and, and ask of you, okay, you have all of these ideas, what, what, are, your plan what are your plans? What are you going to do? Are you going to make them into, into reality? And if you would like to make your ideas into something, into the world, like out in the world, Saturn in, in the 11th house will ask of you, okay, like make a business plan, make a, make a real practical plan about it. What, are, what, are, what is the point of having amazing ideas? If you're not going to act on them, if they're not going to become a reality, Saturn is a very Saturn is 
uh, a very practical planet <laughs> and but also it's a very long-term planet so it may ask of you to think very long term uh, about what are you going to invest in, in your ideas, in your friendships, in your social groups? Uh, how are you going to how are you going to go uh, go in the future? Uh, and what are you going to actually get back from all of these things? Okay, you you will put a lot of money, time, energy, effort into these things. Will they bring you back anything? So Saturn in the eleventh house especially around ideas, is asking of you to get really serious about them, to get very practical about them. Um, it will not be an easy, get-rich kind of situation with your ideas. Saturn is the planet of karma and time. It will take time. It will. That's a given. <laughs> it's not going to be, be short and sweet. Uh, it will take time. But uh, it... All of these ideas that Saturn is asking you to be really grown up about, they may actually turn to be amazing long-term long opportunities. Um, not only to give back financially to you, but to, not only this, but to uh, enrich your life in ways that you've never even thought about this. So get very serious about your, uh, your ideas I will um, I will encourage you to, but that's but that's only my opinion, uh, to to write down your ideas, to have a notebook or your phone, uh, whatever it is, just all of the ideas that you get. It may seem very stupid at the time. The idea may be very silly, but write it down. You never know. After after three years, you may be going through it, and you may have like actually a genius idea. As I said, it's not going to be very quick. This is a very long-term transit. First of all, it's a very long transit. And second of all, Saturn is a long-term planet. So these um, will be in for the long run. For your friends and friendships, uh, Saturn will ask of you to become very serious. It may actually... Uh, it may actually limit the, the, the sheer quality of friends you have. In the next two, three years, you might find that you don't meet, maybe you meet a lot of people, but you don't, you don't become friends with a lot of them. Because again, Saturn is quality over quantity. So Saturn in the, in the, in the 11th house is going to ask of you, which people do you really trust? Which people do you want in your life? Okay, these friendships are going to grow. These friendships are going to become very serious, very, very uh, reliable and very loyal, very practical friendships. But people that you don't really, you don't really want to be friends with, Saturn is a serious planet. Why bother? <laughs> you know, why bother with these things? Uh, why bother with these people? They're, they're acquaintances. They're not real friends they're not real friends that are going to help you out so it's the same way with uh work work um, groups social groups organizations that you enter saturn will ask you to become really serious about them and grow up and become very mature about these things let's talk about gemini hi gemini let's talk about what you can expect from saturn in pisces Saturn in Pisces enters your 10th house. Now, the 10th house is the most visible house in astrology. Uh, what, what does it mean? It's the house of uh, social image, reputation, work, profession, career. So this is, as I said, the most visible house in astrology because people, a lot of people are seeing you in this um, in this um, in this way a lot of people are seeing you uh, with your career uh, and especially with your social image reputation so Saturn in the 12th in the 10th house um, for the next two three years is asking you to become really serious about your work 
your career, your reputation, your um, social image. So this is becoming a very important time for Gemini because they have to really think everything through in regards to these 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 uh, themes that we talked about. Um, Saturn will, as always, Saturn challenges and gives um, drawbacks, setbacks, all kinds of slowing down, uh, slowing down things, slowing down the career. So Gemini might feel like their career is more difficult, more challenging. Uh, a lot of a lot of people, and especially authorities, because Saturn rules authority figures also. So uh, Gemini might feel like all the authorities in their life, uh, that includes um, parents, maybe uh, fathers, fathers because Saturn is connected with the father figure, um, bosses, managers, even older siblings people who are above you, you know, in some way. Uh, that includes also institutions like police, uh, um, doctors, uh, what else, what else, what else, therapists, uh, but it, it rules also institutions like professor, uh, university professors and stuff, like, teachers and stuff like that. So Jim and I might feel that authorities are restricting them right now. Uh, getting in the way of their of their ideas of their uh, hard work of uh, uh, they're restricting them they're limiting their their ideas and their their growth but this is important because this is important for Gemini's because it will be for the for the for the best uh, Gemini's might might uh, they might drive really fast at the moment and saturn in the 10th house is going to ask them to slow down wherever saturn is saturn is slowing down that area of somebody's life because they have to grow up because they have to think all of these things through uh, to become more responsible so after saturn leaves after two two three years uh, when saturn leaves the 10th house gemini is actually may become a very powerful figure in their work. They may be, they may become the manager, they may become the boss or the university professor, they may become the this authority figure that the Gemini's were feeling that this authority figure was restricting them. So Saturn is asking Gemini to become really, really really serious about their career and to grow up uh, it will also ask the, ask of them to take a lot of care and be very protective of their social image brand and reputation uh, as a saying i don't remember when where i heard it but as a saying the saying goes uh, the, the name takes years to build and seconds to destroy or something like that so think about this every time <laughs> you you think about defending your um, reputation or name um, or, or brand or social image uh, it takes seconds to break especially in this climate climate right now that we are in you cannot you cannot um, you cannot have somebody destroying your name or reputation or hard work. You have worked so hard, so hard in your job, in your reputation, in your social image. You cannot have somebody coming in and destroying what you have built in seconds. So you have to be really smart about this. You have to be very protective of your own, um, of your own name and um, brand and social image. Um, a lot of opportunities for growth in work may come come up um, and you will have to make a decision but um, just realize that in the next two three years 
it is going to be challenging. It is going, whatever Saturn is, it's challenges and setbacks and tests, but it is so that you may become the best at your work, the best at what you're doing. Even if you are self-employed, even if you uh, don't, um, don't have a job maybe at the moment, in the next two, three years, Saturn will ask of you to develop your skills, to become unstoppable at your work, but it will ask of you with a lot of um, practical tests, a lot of uh, challenging tests that you will have to, you may fail the first time even, but this is because you have to you have to you have to know your lesson you have to <laughs> to learn your lesson so that you may continue doing what you want to do so a huge focus on the 10th house the house of work reputation and name and image uh, a lot of focus let's talk about cancer hi cancer let's talk about what you can expect with saturn and pisces Saturn in Pisces is entering your ninth house and this is the house connected with higher education, new horizons, new opportunities, new cultures, new travels, higher education, even philosophy. So this is a, a house that is connected to all of these things and Saturn is asking of you to grow up in all of these things that I just mentioned. So in the next two, three years, Saturn is going to ask of you to grow up in all of these areas. It will ask of you to mature. It may mean, actually, I, I think it may mean two opposite things. <laughs> it, for me, it might go two ways, two different ways. So Saturn may ask of you to do all of these things that I just mentioned. It may ask of you to travel a lot more. It may ask of you to open to new cultures, to, to open to new horizons, to go to your higher education, um, to, 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 to do all of these things. Uh, because how are you going to get experience if you're not going to actually do all of these things? So Saturn in the ninth house may actually come in and ask of you to grow up by maturing by traveling a lot more to going to new new countries uh, to to meeting foreigners or uh, to start learning a new lang language for example or to go into uni university or uh, some kind of a diploma course that takes a few years and it will takes uh, it will ta it, it takes um, a deeper understanding and knowledge of the topics not just not it's not just going to be for two weeks and that's it you're going to commit to something uh, and you're going to be very you're going to be very intense about it you're going to be very curious and excited about committing to a new course to a new way of thinking a new program even that is enriching to your life it may go into this way <laughs> but it may also go into another way that Saturn is going to restrict and limit all of these things because Saturn is limitations and restric restriction so Saturn may if it goes this way Saturn may limit your traveling it may give you a lot of um, challenges with traveling uh, so that you will become more experienced travel um, it will it may limit um, it may challenge your higher education uh, your course the course may be a lot more challenging a lot more a, a lot more um, difficult or longer that you want that you, you you've ever thought so it may challenge a lot of uh, a lot of your thinking so that it may it Saturn challenges you to open up to new horizons, to open up to new ideas, new opportunities. It but I, I really liked the, the moment I said it, I really liked it. <laughs> the, the, when I said that uh, a new language, 
I think Saturn in the ninth house is probably is probably that's the best explanation. Learning a new language because it is it takes a long time. It takes years to master, and it is very difficult. It is very challenging, and it 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 takes a it's a slow process. It cannot be done in two way in two days, but at the end, you when in in a few years in in with regards to how how uh, hard you worked at this and how hard you studied the new language you may actually know a new language that is opening you up to new horizons to new cultures to to new people to new to new traveling opportunities education uh, to new life experience so I really like that. I think that's that's the best way. <laughs> I didn't have to explain to you all of the other things. I I, had, I I just had to say, it's like learning a new language. It may be very challenging, difficult, annoying at times, uh, slow. Uh, it will take a long time, but this period will, after it ends, after Saturn moves to uh, another house and another sign, uh, it will give you a lot of new new opportunities and it will give you a new skill a new a new understanding a new um, way of thinking that you 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 didn't have before and that's amazing <laughs> let's talk about leo hi leo well, let's talk about what you can expect from saturn in pisces uh, saturn in pisces enters your eighth house eighth house the eighth house is a mysterious house <laughs> no not uh, not really but um the eighth house is the house connected with shared resources that includes debt um, inheritance credits um, or shared resources between for example spouses or two parents uh, or a family that is sharing resources uh, it, the eighth house also is about the psychology of people, the deep intimacy and vulnerability of people, and it's connected with all taboo topics, um, death, mysteries, secrets, um, sex even. So this is, this is a very interesting time for Leos the next two, three years, because uh, Saturn is asking of them to grow up in these areas, uh, especially when it comes to sharing resources. Uh, this may be a time that you, you receive an inheritance and you have to, you have to, you've never, you've never dealt with that before. So you have to really think about, okay, how do I handle how do I manage? What do I do? Like, how do I, how do I do all of these things? It may be a time that uh, you, you may have to return a debt or have credit or you have to, or it may be uh, an intense time in the next two, three years that you are sharing resources with your partner. So you have to figure out how do I, what do I do? <laughs> how do, how do we share these resources? How do we, uh, how do we manage and manage them very wisely, all of the resources, like who, who does what and all of these things. Um, it, may, it may be very helpful. That's the only advice I'm going to give you <laughs> because <laughs> there are a lot of ways uh, that you can tackle this successfully, but it may really be helpful to you if, it, if it's about sharing resources with a partner or with a family or whatever situation to have an Excel <laughs> I know Excel, nobody likes it, but it's a, it's it's actually a very useful tool. So you can have a, a shared Excel uh, a little sheet that everybody has their incomes and and to have an amazing system, organizational system, so that you can actually you can actually see what is coming, what is going, where it's going, and so on and so on. And so on. Um, Deepening the psychology, the, deepening the 
the understanding of the psychology of people and your own psychology and how to how to connect intimately deeply intensely with another person on a on a on a, on a spiritual soulful level um so it may be a time that you may feel very mysteriously attracted to psychology books to read a lot about the psychology of people about uh, watching shows about um, the psychology of people and how a lot of self self help books and how to handle situations a lot of these topics like listening and even talking about these things like how to um, how people work it, it's going to be very interesting to you also uh, as we said a lot of uh, connection with my mysteries and secrets you will feel like you want to discover all of people's secrets, even your family's family secrets. So it will be a very interesting time for you. How you you would like to like the uh, you would like to really dive into all these things really deeply and and go into all of these topics. Just be aware that people might may not want to share that with you. Like everybody has. Uh, you have to respect people's boundaries. Be careful with that. Um, also, it's a time that you will have a lot of growing up around sex, death, birth even, uh, and a lot of taboo topics. So you may meet a lot of people. You may have a lot of encounters or um, conversations about these things. What does it mean? You may also read a lot of books or watch a lot of things, listen to a lot of things about uh, these topics. Uh, let's talk about Virgo. Hi Virgo, let's talk about what you can expect with Saturn in Pisces. Saturn in Pisces is entering your seventh house. This is a very interesting time in the next two, three years for Virgos because Saturn is going to ask of you to grow up into and becoming a full-grown adult, a full-grown uh, human being <laughs> that um, but it's growing you up, it's challenging you in the areas of relationships. Seventh house is connected to your uh, love and business relationships and this is very interesting for Virgos because it will It will deepen the connections Virgo that Virgo has with people. It will deepen the relationships. It will deepen what does it mean to be in a relationship or a partnership. Uh, and only the people that are very serious about Virgo will stay in Virgo's life. Uh, and only the people that are very... Only the people that can be very um, good, very healthy, very good for Virgo will stay in uh, Virgo's life. So it may, this time may be a lot of maturing of, of, of partnerships uh, for Virgo. Uh, it may, it may be a time of engagements, marriages divorces even because saturn is here to ask of you to get serious get really serious is this the person you want to spend your the next uh, uh, the next years of your life with or your entire whole life with and people is people around virgo and virgo will be thinking a lot of these things and how they would like their life to continue and Especially in business relationships, Saturn is Saturn is asking Virgo to really think about if going into business, who can they trust? And who can be almost like a work spouse for them? <laughs> who can they trust in a way that um, the, both of them, Virgo and the other partner, are going to deal with the business. How are, are they going to do all of these things? So it may it may go into two ways. It may 
it may really be in two ways. One of the ways it, um, Saturn may mature a lot of the relationships of Virgo. It may uh, ask of Virgos to really be thinking about how they can level up and, and develop and grow their relationships. As I said, all types of um, moving on, uh, level, leveling up the relationship, like moving in together, um, having a, a kid together or um, engagements, marriages, divorces, and stuff and stuff and stuff like that. Uh, and with the business partner also, um, having a very deep and very uh, responsible relationship with the partner. On the other hand, Saturn is limitations and restrictions. So Saturn may restrict the relationships of Virgo and, and ask of them, um, you don't need you don't need 100 people you you, you need one <laughs> you need one so find the one find the the partner love and business partner that you would like to be your your partner for for life even uh, at the same time seventh house is also connected with open enemies so Virgos will have challenges with their open enemies uh, we'll have to also we'll have to do a lot of growing up in regards to their own shadow side of their themselves uh, because seventh house is connected with uh, the shadow of our own selves so a lot of shadow work for virgos a lot of m meeting your own fears and your own negativities and drawbacks and realizing that they're not perfect nobody is uh, but they can actually grow up from all, from all of this and it may it may make them well not perfect nobody's perfect but it will make them even more amazing let's talk about libras next 